Now that you know your purpose, how can your purpose help you reinvent yourself? I'm going to help you with an action plan to do just that in this video. How's it going, Reinventors? I'm Amelia. This is Reinventing You. I want to encourage and inspire you to reinvent yourself so that you can live a life of joy, fulfillment, and purpose. And speaking of purpose, that's what we are talking about. In my last video, I helped you to figure out your life's purpose in five minutes or less. If you have not seen that, I have a link in the description below. Please check that out before watching this video. And this video is all about taking that purpose statement and creating an action plan. In other words, going from just that's my purpose to actually living it out reinventing yourself as that purpose that you as that person that you have described in your purpose now I mainly work with folks who are over age 50 if that doesn't apply to you this video may not be that helpful for you but I hope that whether this is your first time or you've been back several times that this action plan will help you move in the right direction in your own reinventing process. And as usual, I like for you to give me a thumbs up and to comment and to share and all of those things, but let's go ahead and get right to the action plan. Now, I did not make up this action plan. This wasn't something that I just came out of, you know, nowhere. I watched several videos and, you know, depended on my own experience as well and how to take your purpose statement and create an action plan, actually reinvent yourself with that purpose statement. And while we're watching this video, I have an example that I'll be typing up in on the screen in front of you so that you can follow along as we go. Now, the first thing that you have to do is simply to get a piece of paper. I know it's old fashioned. I have tons of scrap paper and that's what I did. Get a piece of paper and a pen or pencil and sit down. And now this is going to take some time. So don't just say, oh, I'm gonna do this five minutes before I rush out the door to work or whatever this is going to take you some time to do. I'm still working on it. I'm, there's some things that I'm trying to work on and I will continue to work on it, but 80% of what you're going to accomplish is going to come from this 20% of work that you're going to do. This work will set you up for success. What you're going to do right now, it is not, <laughs> it is not a fun thing, okay? Unless you're a super list maker, you're going to like say, okay, so put on some music, get your cup of coffee or glass of wine or whatever you like. Sit down with your paper, maybe get several sheets and a pen or pencil and let's get to it. Now, the first thing you're going to do at the top of, on the top of a piece of paper is write down what your purpose is. You can even, like the last video, you know, say your name and, you know, what you do as terms of your purpose. Uh, I'm a seamstress who does this or whatever it is. And now you're going to write down what your goal is. Like, okay, that's your purpose statement. It can be your goal and you may have to modify a little bit. And then you're going to also create some steps. And you're also going to have a deadline. Now, this is very important. You can change your deadline. You're not going to change your goal, but you're going to change your deadline. So if you don't make it, um, the example I have here is August 15th. If you don't make it by that, you can always change that. If you happen to meet your goal before that date, that's awesome as well. But the date is going to keep you motivated to get the work done. For instance, in my own experience, my goal is to be done with what I want to do by December 1st. And um, I picked that date for a couple of reasons. Uh, there's some things that are in process now that are gonna take a while, but also I wanted to get it done before the end of the year and before the holidays start up because, I mean, when I wrote down some of the obstacles that I had to create my goal or make, meet my goal, I realized that one of the things is, it's just life gets busy and you know time gets away from you. So it's best to just start with a goal, as realistic as you can, but know that that is your, you know, that's what you're aiming for. And it's gonna help you when we get to the calendaring part of the action steps as well. Now you so have your purpose statement or your goal statement, you have the main steps that you want to accomplish the main things that you want to do. And now you have to break those down. I call that break it down to baby steps or mini doable steps, bite-sized pieces that you can actually accomplish. Think, what can you do in a day? What can you do in an hour? What can you do in 30 minutes in a break? Those kinds of things. That's what you're going to break down, all of those steps. And you're going to list 
every single thing. I mean, even in my own case, I realized there's been times I'm like, oh yeah, I gotta add that. I know I have to do that. I have to do this. And it seems very simplistic. It doesn't mean you can't do more than one thing a day, but basically this is how you break it down so that it is manageable. I'm the kind of person I tend to take on too much. I take my bites are too big or whatever. So I have to really break down the whole process. And the smaller you can, the better off you're going to be. And the less uh, time you're gonna be spending on some stumbling blocks or realize you hadn't done something, something that's critical for where you want to go. In addition, you also need to think about what skill sets that you need. Maybe you have a skill set, maybe you don't. Maybe you need to watch some more YouTube videos. Maybe you need to read a book or find some more information on the internet, whatever you need. Or maybe you can just find somebody who can teach you something that you need to know. So Begin with people that can teach you, what people do you need? Is there somebody, if you're gonna sell something, say on Etsy, is there somebody you know who sells things on Etsy? Reach out to them and say, hey, what advice can you give me doing a store on Etsy? I mean, all of those things are going to help you out. If you are working with a coach or a counselor, this is a great time to work with them and say, hey, I need some help in getting reaching my goals. Can you help me out in this process? So write all those things down. Every, every bit you need to be putting down on paper. Now, you may be one of these people say, oh, I like to type things on my phone, but let me just tell you the the act of writing it down is part of the process. It really is going to help you. And later on, yes, put it on your phone, iPad, whatever. I put it into my notes and reminders and my calendar. So you're going to do that as well. That will help. But just getting it down on paper is really going to be part of the really good process. And you can see it also visualize it. You can visualize it, <laughs> you can watch, look at it and also see what missing holes there might be or things that you've left out. Speaking of things you left out, what are the obstacles that you're going to have to overcome? You've got your baby steps, you've got your skill set, you've got your people. What are some of the things that can get in the way? And I spent some time on that. I mean, I just wrote out, you know, what are some things? The money and time were two of the big things. You know, things are expensive. Um, one of the things I've got to do is get a new desktop. And so I've got to figure out how much that's going to cost me and how that's going to be budgeted. Um, and I know that's going to be a, an obstacle for me. In addition, I'm thinking about time. I mean, I am sometimes the biggest time waster or I am like letting other people's, you know, schedule take over my own. And so I have to really be careful on those kinds of things. So what kind of obstacles are you going to face Take carrying out your goal? If you're going to meet your goal, what are some of the obstacles that you think that you will meet and how can you overcome them? What are some things that I can do? For instance, for me, calendaring is important. Looking back and being able to see what have I accomplished and doing celebrations are important. Also, just to just keep working at. If I miss one day, I just can't go back and say, well, forget it. I have to pick it up the next day and keep going. So once you've gotten all that written down, all those steps, what is the priority and sequence? And this is the problem I have because I think everything's a priority, you know, like I do this in the in this way. But here's here's an example. I decided I want to do an LLC with um, with reinventing you and I first, I thought I could just do that, but no, first you have to have, you know, is that name being used? And you have to check that out and you have to get, you know, I have to go in my state, I have to go to the Secretary of State, I think it is, and, you know, get a certificate that that's my name. And then I have to go and get an LLC, but before I can have an LLC, I've got to have a registrar. So, you know, what is the sequence? You think, oh, I just do an LLC. Well, no, you got to do this, you got to do that, you got to do this. So that's the part of the process. But you know, all of those things, what do you have to do first? What's the sequence of events and what's important? I had to sit down and say in my own plan, what's most important? What do I need to start with first? What's next? Um, the example I've had, um, you know, what is the first thing you need to do in, in this example was, well, you've got to make some bears so that you'll have you know, a sample. And then once you've made your own bears and you've got to have some other people who have lost loved ones, and see if they can get their clothes to make some bears. So not only do you have some samples, but you've also got now references and people who said, hey, this person did a good job. I really appreciated what they did, that kind of thing. So you have to sit down, okay, what's my priority and what are the sequence of events that have to take place? And one of the ways that the video, one of the videos I watched said to do it is 
to think about, look at your whole list of things you have to do. And if you had to do one thing today, what would that thing be? And you write that down. And then if you could do two things today, what would they be? And you write the next thing down. And that, keep doing that till you have 20 things written down. And that will give you your top 20 priorities that you need to accomplish now. And they're doable because you've said, oh, I can do these in one day. So that will help you write out your priority and your sequence to, of the steps you need to, re to do to reach your goal. Okay, so now you have all of these steps. You've got to have them and you have them in priority and sequence. Now you're going to put them on your calendar. And this is where you go from, I would say from writing it down to actually physically putting it on your calendar, your Google calendar, your Yahoo calendar, whatever you're using, put it in there. If you have to do reminders, sometimes I'm, I have a hard time of remembering, oh yeah, I gotta do that. Put it in your reminder system, in your phone. Um, but put it in your calendar. Put one thing per day. Every day you're doing one thing to reach your goal. Now I had to sit down, because we're gonna go on vacation soon, and I had to figure out, okay, I know I can do some things while we're on vacation, but there are some things that probably I won't do, and there's one day I know I'm not gonna get anything done. But that's my, I guess, my bye day. And also create some time in your calendar to say, okay, this is my catch-up day. This is the day to go and do one or two things that I did not do in the week, or to continue working on something that actually took longer than I expected it to. And also for me, I had to put in celebration times. And so the first of every month is a time for celebration, but it's also a time for evaluation. I can look back and see what I've accomplished, celebrate those, but I can also say, okay, maybe I need to move my deadline, or maybe I need to make this a priority or do this thing next. And that will help me to do future calendaring. Now, you know, you could go ahead and do the rest of the year, I would say maybe do two, three months ahead. I wouldn't get too far ahead because you never know and you don't want to be spending all your time calendaring and trying to break down into bits and pieces of every day. So I would say I've done right now just the first month just to see how it goes and then I'm going to sit down and do two months and then I can sit down and do three months if that makes sense because that's also can tell me, you know, how long are things really taking and that's part of my problem. That's one of my obstacles. I don't do well in figuring out how long things are going to take. And so this will help me in that process as well. I hope this action plan is helpful for you. If you are going to implement this in the comments below, I want to hear from you and let me know about that. I am going to continue. I'll let you know how I'm doing also in my um, reaching my goals. I want to encourage you to reinvent yourself if you're over 50 because I want you to live a life of joy, fulfillment, and purpose. I can't wait to hear about how you have been successful in reaching your goals and in reinventing yourself. Have a great one.